Okay, so when getting started, your drone is going to have four channels. Most drones have four channels. The first drone is the throttle, which goes up and down. And for most drones, the throttle is right here and just goes up and down. That'll make the drone go up and down. And then the second channel for most drones is turn, or what's called a spin. Okay, some people call it yaw. And uh, the yaw, the turn, the spin, whatever you call it, you can either turn right or turn left. Your third channel, forwards and backwards. So with a helicopter, it'll go forward or backwards. But you'll notice helicopters also can bank to the left or bank to the right. And that's called a roll, although helicopters don't necessarily roll like an airplane. An airplane will roll all the way around. You ever see an airplane roll? A uh, helicopter is going to roll all the way around unless it's a... Um, 3D helicopter, but uh, this one just kind of banks to the left and bank to the right. Okay, so that would be your fourth channel. So same thing for a drone. The drone's gonna have the throttle up and throttle down. It's gonna go forward and backwards. The drone can also turn to the left or turn to the right or spin to the right. And then finally, the the drone can roll to the left or roll to the right or bank to the right, bank to the left. Okay, so just to recap, you have your you have your up and down. Okay, that's this button right here. It goes up or down, up or down. And to go forward, you're gonna hit this controller. You'll hit your right controller stick forward, and it goes forward. When you control backwards, it'll come back towards you. So forward, backwards. Turn to the left, to the right. You're gonna use your left control stick. You turn it to the left or to the right. Okay, that's called a yaw. Either go to yaw to the left or yaw to the right. And finally, you can bank the drone with this with your right with your right controller stick, banks to the left or banks to the right. And that's how that works. And when you get started, the first thing you want to do is learn really just to hover. Learn how to get the hover, learn how to control, see if you can't keep it close to you. And uh, that's what I always recommend doing is just get it to hover. And just practice this, forward, backwards, right, left, and just practice hovering. Next, practice going forwards and backwards, or just learning how to go in a circle. Going back, and then turning it around, and then coming back the other direction. That's a great thing to learn, is just practicing going back and forth, back and forth. Now, remember to spin, you use your throttle here, and I'm gonna spin it with the throttle. Oh, there you go, now I'm spinning to the left, and now I'll spin to the right. And the breeze is making it come towards me because there's a breeze coming towards me. So there you go, guys, there's the basic on how to fly this. Now, again, this drone does not have GPS, so it's gonna be what uh, some people, some drones might be what's called whirly, where it's a little difficult to control. This drone's actually fairly easy to control, at least I think it is anyway. And um, even though there's a breeze, it flies really well, I believe. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. I think the hardest thing with any drone is orientation. Just learning that orientation. Because when it goes away from you, it can be a challenge to see the orientation. But you notice the bright red propellers on this drone really help with identifying the front of the drone. And that's a, that's a big help, okay? You can see the red in front, that really helps a lot. This is a fun drone, this is a Snaptane SP660. A GPS drone is gonna cost you more and it's gonna be a little bit heavier. In fact, as you look at the drones, they're pretty much about the same size. However, the uh, Lulin LMRC uh, LM01 drone is a little bit heavier and it's also a little more solid it just has a more solid feel and you'll notice a little bit thicker and that's because this has a gps uh, component to the drone which makes it a little more expensive and also more stable for flying uh, remember forwards backwards roll to left roll to the right and then turn to the right or turn to the left okay so this this drone has gps so when it goes off it's going to stay still so it's going to take off i'll show you what i mean the GPS is keeping it in place. So the thing about a GPS drone is it allows it to just fly more steadily and with a lot more control. 
So I hope this video helped you. If you're new to the Drone Flying Club, welcome. My name is Tommy Drone and my channel is Tommy Drone Tech. Be sure to check out my other videos, especially my drone review videos under the playlist all my drone reviews as well as all my friends to the right of my channel you'll see all these other fellows that I'm good friends with here on YouTube they also have drone reviews so check out their reviews as well there's a lot of great drones out there have fun flying it is a learning experience and one that as you fly you're gonna quickly understand why it's so addictive Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. I got many more great videos, reviews, tutorials, and so on coming very, very soon. So stick around. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you next time.